Among the many first-time visitors to the old course in 1964 was Champagne Tony Lima, a nickname he derived by presenting the press with champagne when he won. Although it was his first trip to Europe and to a Lynx course, the lanky Californian arrived just 36 hours before the championship. He could only manage nine holes of practice, but still set a blistering pace. Despite a third round 66, Jack Nicklaus in second place was still seven shots off Lima's lead with a round to go. And try as he might, the Golden Bear could only reduce the deficit by two strokes over the final round. Problems for Jack Nicklaus. But the St. Andrews galleries had warmed to Lima and to the way the handsome American had quickly mastered their traditional chip and run style of golf. Lima in turn lavished praise on the invaluable aid of local caddy Tip Anderson, a recommendation from the absent Arnold Palmer. Holding the winning putt with a club that he had also borrowed from Palmer, Lima recorded one of the most remarkable victories in open history. His total of 279 left him five shots clear of Nicholas. Tragically, Lima died in a plane crash in 19...